Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and we're back in Animalia. It's raining! Ooh, the rain is really weird shit if you zoom in and, in and out of it, yes. So, we've got several districts. We've got Donkey Mines, which we just did a central expansion work, so a mining specialization, so we should be able to make a serious amount of money coming up this. Lovely cliff edge with the uh, terrain. You can see, if I zoom all the way down, actually, I should begin to see the shape of the terrain. There's an actual hill here. Wind turbines! We've got the spinning offshore one, which is making our lives so much easier. We've got a slight problem with uh, abandoned buildings. These will get sorted out, finished out later on, but we're already getting abandoned buildings. We don't have necessarily enough workers because we don't have a proper school. So we expanded that last episode. Bee shopping area. These hexagons haven't really extended too much because anytime we get any commercial demand, it gets rapidly satisfied by the little commercial areas I've been dropping in on Dimension Heights. Just double check. Yeah, it is all zoned. It is all watered. Our power supply is amazing. Thanks to our new amazing power plants. A chatter, I have to say. Plant a tree, paradise on earth, gold diggers. Hmm, fair enough. Earns on the mantelpiece. So, yep, the only thing we did, our nice shiny roundabout. Ooh. Roads get wet and shiny and in the rain. E. All the little extra things that the new uh, Snowfall DLC has added. The, the text flattened out as well. Alright, let's just find a, a nice angle we've got. So, what do we want? Well, let's have a look at our citizens' demand. We're good for this. We're good for water. Uh, we should probably stick a park down in this end of town, because they're not happy about not having a park. Is there a way of getting that to rotate? Hmm, it doesn't look like it. What's this? So it's a plaza with picnic tables. Let's uh, do what we've done previously and see if we can stick it on the... You know, that a huge. That's enormous. That's a smaller one. Doesn't quite fit because of the shaping. However, the ooh, did I put commercial there? I did. Hmm. I want to put a park in. I want to put a park in. I want to put the park in. There's no roads. I built all these roads, and they're in my way. Alright, we'll stick one over there, then we'll stick one on the corner here. Yeah. Should make the people happy. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Oh, we're also going to stick our preferred little gravel paths in. Don't mind my phone, it just likes to make that noise when it wants to alert me to something important that I'm ignoring. There. Just making it a little bit easier to shortcut across some of our between some of our estates. And make sure it's all nice and easy to walk between where you have not got necessarily the greatest road access. And I don't really mind if I build those your house. Because my parkways are more important than your ability to live somewhere. And that's what matters, really. It's all about my ability to put roads in, in awkward places. So, we've not got much in the way of demand. One of the things we were saving for was a new high school, I seem to remember. No, yeah, for one, yes, because our capacity is reaching a warning point. So let's stick one in down here. Yay! Let's solve that problem. How much cash do we have? Not a lot. Can we afford a bus station? No! So we need 30,000 or so. Well, let's go up to speed 3. Yay, and the lights come on as the dark It's stopped raining. It's stopped raining. So these guys are still complaining about a lack of workers. We're up to a reasonable amount of money. It's just slowly ticking in. So, what are we going to be looking at? Well, I think we're probably going to be looking at doing some bus routing. So, what I'm going to do right now is pause the recording. Let the our uh, cash flow tick up to say sixty thousand or so, so I can afford the buses and a load of bus stops. And I'll see you in a few minutes. And we're back, and we have a water shortage. Um, otherwise, I'd have probably waited a little bit longer, only up to forty-seven thousand or so. But we finally have to get to a point in where we have to put another pump in. So 
I'm going to have to pause for just a little bit. Move a wind turbine and see if I can fit our hydro pump here. Yeah. And unsurprisingly, plug it into the network. It should already have power. Um, I have to do exactly the same down with down this end with our uh, poop solutions. Poop solutions. Solutions of poop. What we have is a large amount of poop, which is slowly but surely hitting that way. I don't necessarily know whether that's out river, uh, down river, or out of river. But yeah, it's heading off that way. Down onto the main beach. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, so it's kind of annoying that uh, down river on this is uh, actually the nice, really, really nice beachy area is actually downstream. So an awful lot of your poop problems end up being problems of poop over here. Yeah, I suppose if you eventually expand out to this, you can start dumping your wa dumping your poop water in a less offensive area. I think long term plans are probably going to get these four squares around us. Um, mostly because it kind of makes sense. I mean, I kind of tempted to see just start going in a line. But I think uh, probably picking up these ones will let us kind of square off. I think Dalmatian Heights will probably be an area that just stays in that kind of part of the district. And it's really need to extend it too far. But yes, as I was saying, we were solving our poop water problem. So we now have our water problems solved. We've still got quite a few of these guys complaining about not enough educated workers. Um, so seven doors available, mostly waiting for educated, which is simply going to be a time thing. Now, we, while we have our high schools... We do have plenty of capacity in our elementary school, but I am going to stick in another one, because we do have a little bit of cash, and I think it will improve our happiness down here. You hear the dinging in, the amount of dinging. So we do have the beginnings of enough money now, so I am going to see about putting in our bus depot. So the bus depot is going to go over here. This is going to be kind of a Partial industrial area, or do we tick it down or is it here? No, it's it's a noisy thing, so let's uh, put it on the edge of our district over here. Yeah, just take it down there. So let's pause. Bus route to time. Bus lane. Okay, so let's have what do we want bus wise? Well I think we should probably want something that kind of services this area and connects it up with our city centre area. So I think perhaps we maybe look at making this kind of our, our interchange area, is this road here. Uh, I don't think that's... Well, wait, no, it's not. So let's put a bus route in. It services our districts. Look, look at all the people being happy. Let's run one that goes along here. Stops there. One that goes near the school is going to be really useful. We're just going to go up and down this row and then close the line. They pretty much do the same over here, so we'll go there, there, that side of the road. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start over here. <laughs> Used to which way the roads are going. There. To there. There. Yeah. Stop there. Stop there. And there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, inside of there. We're going to come round into that stop again, our interchange point. So these people are going to end up on the bus for quite a while. I'm not immediately concerned. And loop. That's a possible one. 
I wonder, we can get the information that's, that's our loans, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Plus. It's not that we can colour the lines at all and make them slightly more distinct. All our buses are going to be blue. So, let's add a connection form here. So we can get... Yeah, let's just have a line that does that. It just goes around there. And then from here, we'll have one stop there. That's that line, and then we'll grab there, there, and we'll wend this up to our hub stop, and have it come back round. Here, so we'll do the connection for that to our hub stop. Yeah. All this service is linked up to here, all of that links up to there. If you want to get across, you can just bloody walk. The last thing you do is connect our industry districts. So, bear in mind this is a one way system. And you do little clicking noises like this, and then we'll come out to the hub, and then we'll come back to here to do the loop. And one last little run to do there to there to the hub, and back again. So, just to make that bus stop there just a little bit more distinguishable, I am going to put a really small Japanese garden on that person's house so that we know that that is our hub bus stop so <laughs> the people are suddenly going I was living here and now there's a koi pond you can suddenly see a vast number of buses apparently that lacks electricity To have water, it does. So you can hear the ridiculous and quite absurd amount of dinging that is going on. This is the massive upgrading that's happening from the fact that we now have bus routes. Lots and lots and lots and lots of bus routes. And the beginning of it month for yet more residential. Now I did say previously we were which way were we going to be extending. So just a quick question. I wonder how much money we are spending on our bus routes at the moment. Buses, 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 buses. All right, seven grand. So I'm hoping that they will actually start getting some uh, people on them. Travel the long line. Passengers, none. Okay. Let's uh, pause and see if we can find a few more buses, shall we? Bus, bus. Bus, 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 bus. Spending a lot of money on these buses. People better be on them. Passengers, one. No passengers. Passengers, one. Right, well, nothing else. The bus route apparently has improved the overall outlook of our town. I don't know if it's actually made us any more money. People are apparently really happy that they've now got buses. I think this would be a candidate for high-density uh, commercial later on. But as you can see, we're suddenly getting a really rapid demand for um, residential. Lots and lots of houses are wanted. So let's slow time down, so I'm not going to be overdoing it a bit. And I think... We will be, yeah, let's start with doing a, another of our commercial districts. So, I was using templates last time for these. Let's carry on with that. So, we know that coming out of that angle. Okay, so I have to come out at 45 degrees again here and here. Do that. 
Let's just add three more commercial blocks. And as I was saying previously, it is definitely time for a new not oh, medical clinic. Everyone keep average. Six citizens one. Capacity plenty. So that's kind of covering all of this district. Let's do a quick bit of repurposing. No, I don't want to demolish. Destroy. I want to relocate. Put you there, and then we will build a new hospital clinic. There. Directly opposite the crematorium. So while you're looking out of the clinic windows in the waiting room, you can see where you'll go if you don't take your pill and will stop smoking. But the other thing we were going to do is we were going to put in a new fire station. And let's just have a quick check of our crime rates. They're pretty good. I think we need to worry about adding uh, another police station at a later date. So I don't entirely convince that these things are exactly the same shape, but they're not. So I'm going to have to delete those in template, which is annoying. Yes, you're happy that the roads are gone. Hooray, the roads are gone. And, uh, I managed to miss you. So, you were... Uh, 45 degrees. How did I measure this out? That's interesting. It's a shame I can't copy and paste and clone you. Um, I'm just going to have to kind of guess a little bit that... That is a distance of one, is it? Okay. Let's grab there. Go one out. Go one out. Go back. Yeah, that was it. Go one out. And that. Go there. So yeah, so doink. Doink. Is that the right place? Yes, I'll do in the centre road. One out, one across, one again, one down. Connect, 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 connect. Delete. There we go, that's the pattern I wanted. So, reading these three. Let me just delete a couple of my bus stops. One of them went. One of them did indeed go. So I'm going to delete that one because we're going to have a new commercial district line. We'll run up and down our shopping colony. And I think we'll just go. No, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we want to catch the bus from there to there. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. I think we might have to worry about putting that one in later. So let's grab our zoning. Let's grab the marquee tool. We will zone all of that for commercial and then we will make sure that we've got the prerequisites of water we have the rivers of water power will happen by itself we've got even got a power line coming down the outside here so that should be absolutely fine maybe be able to draw that back a bit as power becomes available okay yeah i'm pretty happy with that bus routes in Buses will all get a bit confused, and there should be a lot of new buses coming in and out, yeah, because I deleted the route, so the old buses will go back to the depot. A little bit of a traffic jam here. Not immediately concerned, but that, we did make it in the change, so it's not that surprising it's going to get a little busy. I am kind of tempted to make that bus routes. I don't think, I mean, yeah, definitely. Time to upgrade that to...
Yeah. One way. Nope. One way in that direction. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has broken all of us roots. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, between videos, I'm going to go and relay all the bus routes because me screwing up putting the one-way system in has broken them horribly. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Remember to like and subscribe.